What's going on, FA Nation? Jonathan Mejia, the James Grande, welcoming to the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS podcast and live stream recording here for Thursday's four-game main slate. Uh, James here, Toronto, Washington, Philly, Dallas, Pacers, Spurs, Clippers, Warriors. Uh, we have Philadelphia here on a back-to-back uh, in this one. Um, you know, worrying about Joel Embiid, who was ruled out for uh, Wednesday's matchup here, so we'll see. If he's suiting up, we go up against Dallas, Luka, Kyrie Irving and company there. Uh, We know what's going on with the injuries there with Golden State. Jordan Poole, we got a status update on him recently. uh, Updated to probable for Thursday's game. Uh, Steph Curry is expected to rejoin the team soon. Uh, You know, on this this upcoming trip, supposedly, he's going to be at some point uh, rejoining them. So time's limited there uh, for Jordan Poole. Uh, when we look at this slate, though, from the top tier guys, like it's 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 Luca, but we don't really want to keep paying up for Luca at this point. This one feels like more of a fair and balanced lineup build. We'll of course break down each slate, but uh, my initial observations here, you know, like I might not spend any higher than like Kawhi at ninety three, you know, and, and kind of go down from there. Yeah, I mean I, that's probably contingent on Embiid status because um, we'd probably pay for ninety five Harden um without Embiid but yeah I mean uh definitely an interesting slate definitely potential for like us to have like all this value and nowhere to go with it just based on who's potentially out for the Spurs we are going to get the return of Devin Vassell here um he's probable but the rest of their team is questionable um mm-hmm. literally everybody is essentially questionable Keldon Johnson Trey Jones Malachi Branham um all questionable all guys in their rotation Harry's Halliburton questionable. So there's a lot of like question marks on this slate with not a lot of um, spend ups, even if there is like a ton of value. Right. So um, it'll be interesting how things shake out. Yeah, I agree with you. What do we got for uh, point spreads? I mean, with all the Tinder news, we even have point spreads available right now. Yeah, three or four. Nothing in Philly, Dallas, uh, which is to be expected. Slate high, 238.5 in Indiana, San Antonio. Um, San Antonio getting four at home, 231.5 in Golden State, Los Angeles. The Golden State Warriors are getting 2.5 at home. Um, And then 223.5, Washington getting one at home against Toronto. Every home team are uh, underdogs on this slate. Find interesting. that interesting. Definitely interesting. All right, let's get into it. This will be quick. Four games here. Uh, Luca, as I mentioned, at the top. He's 11-9. He went for 60. It's 5X against the Pacers there. The game they lost by 2. 39-8-6. Again, if you want to pay for it, you can. He's giving you 60 at this price. I just don't know if he has... I mean, he has nope, to have whatever, a little whatever bit of you're a gonna higher say, ceiling. Whatever you're about to say, I don't know what you're going to say. But I just don't know. I just don't know <laughs> if he's got a higher ceiling than 60. Yeah, he, yes, he does. I don't think so. I, I don't did, know. I don't know. He is a – he had 60 without a triple-double. I know, but, I mean – Kyrie is not going to take away from the rebounds and assists. I, I, did not, I mean, like, Kyrie had nine assists. He had 11 rebounds the game before that. I just think there is a ceiling. Is Kyrie going to score 16 points all the time? Like, that feels... No. Right. So, like, you take... I mean, he's got to take some scoring away from Luka? I don't know. I don't think Luka's got 70 or 80 with Kyrie on the floor. That is a bold statement. I just don't... I mean, listen, I've been saying it since the trade. I haven't been wrong yet. Um, You know, it's... He's just, Doesn't have 70? I don't know with Kyrie on the floor. I don't know if he can get there. I don't okay. know. I'll, we can place a friendly wager on that. That's or fine. A, I just, I don't know. Listen, if Kyrie Irving plays an entire game, I don't know if Luca. I don't know if Luka can get 70, 80 fantasy points. I'll, we'll, 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 let's do something off. Uh, we don't even have to do it off. We can, we can figure it out. We'll announce it on, on Friday's pod, what we're going to do. That's yeah. just, that's just my, my feeling on it. I just feel okay. like he is not going to have the ball in his hands as often. Again, I understand. 14 of 25. 39 actual. Great shooting night for him. Perfect. Understand it. Get it. Hear you. See it. All of that was just 60 fantasy points, though. It was only 5x. So, if you want 5x, 
Sure. Play Luka. He's giving you a win in three of the four games with, with Kyrie Irving. He's not giving you higher. Hasn't given you higher. So, for me, I, I don't know. I don't I don't want to pay there. Um, I'm not... I wasn't... I'm not arguing on, like, this particular spot. I just can't... Like, there's definitely a world where Luka scores 70 or 80 or 90 fantasy points with Kyrie this year. I don't, I don't know or think it's going to be Philly. Um, but... I mean, Luca's gonna score like fifty in a game at some point again okay. this year. And I mean, listen, we like... taught, we saw Kevin Durant struggle, or not struggle, but like his ceiling wasn't what it was with right. Kyrie Irving on the floor, right? Like Irving's always a high usage guy. He takes his shots generally. He's been better passing the ball, probably because he recognizes Luka Doncic's on the floor. But you know, right? Like, still, I don't know. That's just my outsider's perspective. Um, if you want the five X, that's fine. I don't know if seven, eight X are there for Luca. Six, seven, eight X are there for Luca right now. So, um, Harden at ninety five, as you mentioned, this has generally been a tougher spot for guards, um, but he's been very good. Uh, popped off, you know, the other night against Miami. What's he got going on for tonight? I know Philly was up big in that game. Yeah, he didn't have a great night. Um, Twenty three, seven, and five. 6 of 15 shooting, just one block. It wasn't, like, a, anything to write home about performance. But also, like, he just kind of was chilling because they were up so big so early. He still played 37 minutes, and that's the luxury of James Harden. Like, oh. he doesn't come off the floor even in blowouts. So, um, I, I'm willing to get to Harden if there's no Embiid. I, I might even, in on a four-game slate, get to Harden with Embiid in because nobody's going to go there. Yeah, I, I don't, actually, I don't hate that because Harden's been giving you 50 with the meat anyway, so right. a little over 5X. Um, I still feel the same way about Luka as I do Kyrie. I don't know if I want to pay there to get that type of, I mean, $9,400, 36 43 39 the last three games. That's that's not that's not good enough. So yep. um, I do like the price drop on Van Vliet here. I don't know if that is just due to slate size. Um, or just the you know recent performance. I mean, forty one fifty five in two of the last three. Right. Uh, but he goes up to ninety seven, down to eighty four. I kind of like FEV here at eighty four hundred. If Halliburton plays, of course, against San Antonio, mm-hmm. going to be a lot of interest there. Um, Jordan Poole, as we mentioned, at eighty two hundred. Not my favorite spot, but he can get there. Uh, a long way just to kind of talk about getting to Westbrook at seven K. I mean. Uh, wish he played more minutes than 28 minutes the other day, but gave you 40 fantasy points in that game. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Like, the this tier is interesting because I love Halliburton 92 if he plays. I think he'll actually probably be one of the more popular guards on the slate if he does play, just given the matchup and the, the total in this game. Um, you're right, the Van Vliet price drop is interesting. So if you want to go there... We know a few things about Toronto, and one is they play their guys all their minute, all the minutes. Generally, so, yeah. um, one for Vanley's, eleven shooting against Chicago for FEV there the other night. So. 30, 35 minutes, <laughs> like he just doesn't go off the floor. Um, four of twenty three in his last two games, thirty five minutes not, each. Hasn't been shooting well. Um, not, has not been shooting. Assists well. have been great though, eight, nine, fifteen. So saving, <laughs> saving his bacon there a little bit. Um, so Van Vliet, you. You know, no Monty Morris. Does have to deal with, you know, Peskier, DeLon Wright, but mm-hmm. not necessarily worried. I do like the price decrease on Poole a little bit. Um, we saw him explode last game. Probably plays closer to 35, 36 minutes if that game stays competitive. Um, so it could have gone for 50 potentially. Clippers now 0-3 with Westbrook, right? They're 0-3. Is it his fault? I don't know. I don't he's looked so. good. He's, <laughs> yeah, looked, he's, he's, he's actually really hitting good. shots when he's taking them. He's got high assist totals. Uh, he had five steals in one game. Doesn't feel like Westbrook is the reason here. So, um, but it's a it's a great spot. It's a great paced uh, environment for. I mean, Golden State's number one in pace. The Clippers are twenty third. So, like, just massive bump. Um, we're gonna like everyone on the Clippers for sure. Um, but I, I think. I think you could play a Westbrook George or a Westbrook yeah. Kawhi. Like you could play, especially if Westbrook is, I think 
we're seeing a, a very reserved version of him. And, you know, sure. I, that's good because he should be deferring to Paul George and Kawhi a lot. So yeah. I, I love Westbrook. I, I think he's probably going to be in the lineup we build and in uh, most of our, you know, stuff that we're talking about on Discord is going to probably involve Russell Westbrook tomorrow. Yeah, I would imagine so. Um, if Branham and Jones and all those guys are out, you know, we have Graham at 4,400. Uh, going to be in play. Uh, if we find out that Halliburton is out, McConnell is $3,600 would be a guy that we take a peek at there um, as well. Anybody else for you? Yeah, I mean, the Spurs split point guard minutes with Devontae Graham with Blake Wesley. And Blake Wesley's now played 20-plus minutes in three straight, and four or five overall. Um, I know Vassell's back. But we just need to see who's in, who's out for the Spurs. I think Wesley's carving out a role just considering what part of the year we're in. Sure. Um, Andrew Nembard, if there's no um, Halliburton as well, I know McConnell will start, but we likely see Nembard and McConnell start next to one another. Sure. Um, not a high ceiling. We did see like 60 earlier in the year, but everyone was out. Right. Um, you know, if he plays 30 minutes and starts, I, I could see a scenario where um, Nembard has – you know, 20 to 25 fantasy points. And I think um, that's okay. We Did you, you didn't mention DeLon Wright. Um, no. He wasn't great last game, but Monty Morris already ruled out. Oh, the minutes were there. The minutes started, played 30 minutes. Love that. Um, Back to that game to that steals. Too. I mean, what is that about? You're, yeah, right. You hype you that, up as a steal master <laughs> and you're lining up that. I know. I know. Uh, of course, you know, DeLon Wright's on everyone's radar and no steals. Did play for Toronto. Uh, so a little revenge in his mind, maybe. But, yeah, I lo- I'm going right back to love with the line, sure. with the line right? Uh, shooting guard, Paul and George here. Limited the limited Paul George, 35 minutes, 10 of 21. It doesn't here. matter. It doesn't matter if he's limited <laughs> or not. It doesn't uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, $8,500 we're in. Uh, Bradley Beal up to 8 k now. A tougher matchup against Toronto. Do you ride? Yes. Okay. Dude, you were spot on. And I know Porzingis is off the injury report and everything, like, and, you know, whatever, but... Bill just looks really good offensively. He looks very good Look, offensively. 30 shots. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, no, that's a, that's a lot of shots. And we got to love the minutes. 35, 35, 37, 35. Yep. Not coming yep. off the floor. Yep. Um, good at 8K. Clay at 7,800. OG, uh, and a big price down to OG. So your top tier, basically, Clay, Beal, and George. Yeah, I like literally all three of those guys. How would you rank them? Uh, I would probably rank them the way they're priced. I love the Clippers getting the pace up spot. Beal's in a tough spot. Um, we've said that a, a couple times. Like we've been t- talking about DeMar DeRozan, how like he struggles against Toronto. Okay. I'm not saying Beal will, but like, you know, tough spot. And Clay could also have a pretty tough matchup on the other side, but um, I, I would just rank them how they're priced. Sure. Uh, the next tier below, we're in the 5K range. You got OG, DiVincenzo, Gary Trent, the returning Devin Vassell, Tim Hardaway Jr., um, do we, if we don't think there's going to be a minutes cap on Vassell, um, you know, we, how does he rank to those other four? If, uh, if we're assuming there's no cap, I mean, Vassell would be first, right? right? Yep. But I, I mean, he hasn't played since January 2nd, so he's been out for two months. He had the knee surgery. Like he literally had Arthur, Arthur Scrop- yeah, Arthur Arthur Scopic, Scopic, yep. yeah, knees, yeah, we're, you know. It's, like, it's a okay. tough word. Listen, there's a um, lot of letters in in you know a lot of syllables. It's okay. You see what you see what I have to deal with, it's guys. Okay. Listen, day. listen, I, um, I'm terrible at pronouncing names, so <laughs> it's okay. Um, he he would rank first if we're assuming, but I I mean I'm I'm going under the assumption that he's going to be on like a hard cap, especially with like where the Spurs are. They're on the Wembyama tankathon right so yeah um i assume this is capped so i like og here 5700 he's looked he looked good last game he's looked a little better recently i really like divincenzo who continues to play big minutes for this team um 33 38 35 minutes the last three games 32 47 26 fantasy points back to back 20 yeah. actual point games for DiVincenzo. Knocking down the threes, uh, 5 of 7, 4 of 9, 5 of 9 the last three games. No Wiggins, he's still out. Um no Steph obviously, he's still out. So 
you know, he's just going to be in their rotation. If Jordan Poole is at all, like, li- banged up, if there's any linger to that, I know he's probable, but, like, yeah. DiVincenzo is just going to be on the floor a bunch. Um, they moved Gary Trent to the bench. For, they're starting Jakob Pertl now. Um, you know, Trent, I think he's fine at 55. He's going to have a lot of usage of that second unit. So. Sure. Uh, they also signed Will Barton. Something interesting there, too. I don't know. Yeah. Four minutes is four minutes in his debut. Uh, I don't know like what. I don't know what they're doing, um, because like they don't play like now that they have Pirtle starting, they could just use Gary Trent yeah. as the. Because I remember we were talking about it, like they don't play a backup guard right. like every so they often. They don't play backups. <laughs> they, they don't play true. <laughs> right? like, every so often, like um, Malachi Flynn would enter the rotation, and like Thad Young would enter the rotation. They don't play anymore. No. Um, so, like, Gary Trent's fine coming off the bench. but Yeah, I like Ben Mathard again. One of seven shooting the other night, but this is a perfect game for him to bounce back. And yeah. if no Halliburton also just kind of increases the potential for him uh, maybe to be on the floor in that rotation also. Um, under 5K for him. I know that's just, I think, probably more so uh, a slate price down. Yep. Uh, but I'm in. I'm, I'm on on this. I've been talking about him all season long. Lo- just love him. He gets to the free throw line, giving you even starting to give you a little bit more in in other categories early in the yep. year. He's just strictly scoring. Um, so I'm a big Matherin fan here. So 4800 for him. Um, solid play a pool option. Uh, after that, I don't know. I mean, Doug McDermott had a big game the other day, but I don't think we're gonna chase that. Um, he's 3300 dollars. Anybody else down here for you? Um, I mean, Maxi has point guard shooting guard eligibility. If there's no Embiid, he had a big game tonight. Sure. I would. He was very popular too. Uh, same thing can be said for Deanthe Melton. No, dude, no idea what what Philly's gonna do with their, his minutes. They might just be like shooting like a. They're like throwing a dart at a a board with like minutes on it, and then that's like what he plays for because it's everywhere. Yeah. 31, 25, 13, 34, 21. Like, no injuries, no, like, I, I don't know. Um, So, like, if Embiid's out, like, all those guys would be uh, firmly in play. The McDermott thing is contingent on who's actually playing for sure. the Spurs because we just don't know yeah. that answer. All right. Small forward. I mentioned already, love Kawhi here. Yep. Agreed. Uh, $9,300. Love the Clippers. Love yep. the Clippers. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Kuzma feels like he's the one that's in that tough spot, kind of like DeRozan was the other day. I know Kuzma's been really good. Uh, Porzingis is back, but I mean the wing defense with OG and Barnes and Siakam, like so yeah. many guys, they can just throw at Kuzma here. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, no, I don't. I'm not gonna get to Kuzma. Yeah, there. I'm not gonna get there either. Um, flip side, Scotty Barnes again. He'll fill the stat sheet for you. He's never gonna be a great scorer. Um, hit some of his shots, but you're looking for everything else out of him. So 72 feels a little bit too too much for me. Um, yep. Keldon at 69, lock and load if he's starting. I mean, not starting, but just in the lineup in general. Um, yeah, would... we just have to deal with Vassell back. That's the one thing. I, I assume they bring Vassell off the bench, too. Yeah, they were doing I, that they, earlier they, in the they year. played well together earlier. Yeah, they I mean, did. They did play well together. That's fair. Um, it's, a great, it's a great game environment, too. Uh, Buddy Heald at 56. I mean, what in what world does Buddy Heald take two shots in a game? I don't have the answer. And he and did. they win that game. <laughs> I don't have really an answer. He did have nine free throw attempts, throw attempts but like, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll still play at fifty. I'll still play him at fifty six though. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's a that's. Remember what I was saying earlier in the year? It's like under six k, buddy healed was like lock and load. It's mm-hmm. different because he's the minutes are kind of like the minutes are still solid. Twenty eight plus is still solid. I would like the thirty seven that he played in Boston. Um. But, you know, they're just playing Mather in a little bit more. They're playing Jordan Nawara all these minutes. They're playing, like, all these yeah. guys, like, randomly. Remember, these I, I mentioned Nawara to you the other day. Like, ah, maybe it was just Before the game. Run. Before the game. And then he goes and plays 29. Yep. Um, so, like, that could be impacting Heald a little bit. I, I like Heald for tournaments because I, I think you really – there's not a wrong – Sure. You um, like someone if, in Indiana, San Antonio. If no Embiid, you have Toby here. Um, yep. Tobias Harris at 52. Dude, he was so good tonight. And you know what's funny? I've said this forever. As soon as, like, Embiid's out, I always pivot to Tobias Harris because I know he's he's over a fantasy point per minute. He is a 24% usage rate guy. Um, and nobody plays him. Say, Everyone, and nobody, nobody pivots to him with you. Dude, yeah. 
Dude, nobody pivots to him. Um, I'll look at what I'll look what his roster ship was tonight. Um, because I played him, I kind of I'm blanking on what his roster ship was, but nobody played him again. Um, he was, and we have the news. So twenty six percent. Um, which, you know, I feel like fifty four hundred dollar Tobias Harris when Joel yeah. Embiid's ruled out should have been forty to fifty percent owned. Um, and now he's two hundred dollars cheaper, coming off uh, eighteen six five one and one thirty eight fantasy points. So I will be pivoting to Tobias Harris with small forward, power forward eligibility if yeah. Joel beats out. Yep. All right, power forward here. Uh, Siakam's at nine k. Uh, Porzingis is back. He's eighty nine hundred dollars. Those are the top two guys we haven't discussed um, here. In on both. They're fine. They're both fine. I like Porzingis maybe more. Um, I think they're both. Yeah, I, I'll give you. I think Porzingis slightly over Siakam, but they're both like again, they're both fine. Uh, not a lot of options here. Draymond at sixty three, Jeremy <laughs> Sohan at fifty three, but guys back potentially in that lineup. That's that's it. Look at this player pool. Who are, like I mean, think, be grateful for multi position eligibility. I guess you maybe you just play <laughs> quiet power forward here on DraftKings. I don't know. Do you like this group here? I mean, we hope to we hope Tobias is you know a play with Embiid out. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I like Draymond a lot. Yeah. Uh, a... Thirty plus fantasy points in three straight. The one game. Four of five in the one game he didn't. He left with an injury. Um, so I like Draymond. Hasn't missed. He's ten for ten in two games against the Clippers this year. Has missed a shot. Uh, Bates Diop played a whole bunch of minutes. If if guys are out, sure. I would go back to the well. It's like not exciting, but he's gonna get you twenty fantasy points. I mean, that's just what he's giving you every night. Yeah. You mentioned um, Nora already, but we talked. You about mentioned Nora. I mean, Kaminga as well. Eight for ten shooting the other night. We're basically getting 22 to 27 minutes from Kaminga every night, 24 plus every night since the break. Um, Did Jalen he's been decent. get a bump tonight at all? No, they don't play him. I don't. They're, I don't even know what they traded. Minutes. Big sad. I don't even know what they traded. I don't Big even know sad. what they traded for. Um, but I don't mean power forward's bleak here. I mean, yeah, yes, I, mean I think obviously a few guys, but there's only a few guys. I, look, I think if you're if you're digging for value. Anthony Lamb has played a whole bunch of minutes for Golden State lately. Um, has been moderately successful. I mean, 17, essentially 18 fantasy points in three straight games. He's 3,200. Um, it's a good game. Jalen Smith has been back in the rotation. And although he doesn't play a whole bunch of minutes, 16 minutes, 25 fantasy points, 20 minutes, 26 fantasy points. What do we talk about all the time? It's yeah. like, Backup guys that get on the floor. I mean, dude, if there was ever a time for Jalen Smith to just go nutty, like he did the last he two games, it's against the Spurs. Years, man. <laughs> like... Right, right. Um, so I don't, I don't mind on a four-game slate taking stabs at guys like that. Aaron Neesmith, Smith, the same thing. Like if he makes shots, he, you know, he can break a slate. Yep. All right, uh, center then here. Uh, JoJo obviously ten eight. If he's in, we're in. Uh, after that, we got Miles Turner. I mean, he's gonna be the next one. Uh, he might be V1 on this slate uh, <laughs> yeah. if you're not going to play and be, I mean, 60, 40, 44 the last three games here for Miles Turner. Only 7,400 now going up against San Antonio. Yeah, what? I mean, like, I knew Miles Turner was really good. I was very high on him too early in his career because he did not look this good. Oh, we were always um, dealing with him next to Sabonis. So. True. He has been great. Um, I'm also thankful that Rick Carlisle is playing him. I mean, even in these few last games where he's clearly been in foul trouble, still has played a bunch of minutes. Yeah, hard not to like Miles Turner in any setting. The only thing we have to worry about, and it's the same thing we that could be said about Collins for $100 cheaper or $1,000 cheaper in the same game is both of them could get in massive foul trouble. Sure. So um, those are the only things we have to worry about. Yeah. I like Collins. Obviously, been touting him since he was playing eighteen minutes off the bench this year. So you really, you really were the first one on the bandwagon. That was last year, I think. Yeah, end of last year, and then this year, whenever he was out there. So 
Uh, you got Pirtle at 62. You mentioned he's in the starting lineup. Yep. Yeah, run him out. Great spot. Yeah, he's against. good. Yeah, he's he's just so consistent. Yep. He's been he's been like this for so long. Like just give him 25 minutes and he's like he's a fantasy point per minute guy. Yep. Zubac returns to the lineup for the Clippers. Plays 28 minutes in that game. Almost double doubles. I think you can throw him out there against Golden State. Yep. Um, I generally like Looney. I don't. I don't know why he played 23 minutes outside of maybe it was a blow, but he's a guy that, like, gets that run sometimes. But he almost double-doubled yeah. again. 14 almost and 7. Um, I like I like Kevin Looney. Another guy that I've been talking a lot this year, and you kind of were always like, eh, I don't know. And I'm like, the rebounds, man. He just grabs every rebound available to him. <laughs> yeah, um, he's a freak of nature. You know, so he's good. Yep, he's a, he is very good. He's a good player. Just on the wrong team good. right now. Um, anybody else at center for you? Yeah, Charles Bassey, for sure. $3,800. Yeah, yeah. um, he's back to being the backup center, and he's been a freaking... I mean, look at these numbers. 21 Long minutes Philly's against Utah. Everybody playing Paul Reed today, by the way, and not uh, Mark Trezel, So. Yeah, I mean... Started Tucker, played Paul Reed. Well, well, we, we've always talked about this, right? It, it, we were talking about this earlier in the year. I would play Montrezl as long as he was starting, but the day that he didn't start was the day that I think he was in trouble. Um, and we saw that. Like, Paul Reed gets all the run, dominates off the bench. Mm-hmm. Montrezl is just in his jump jumpsuit. Like, yep. it's... Um, and that's going to be the same thing. Like, Bassey and Paul Reed, Jalen Smith, all three of these guys are, like, super high upside potential darts. Uh, that we could throw. I, mean, I think Bassey we, we is. We, oh, I guess that's why we did this. I guess he hasn't played in a little bit. I was like, we didn't mention Daniel Tice because uh, he hasn't played. Yeah, no, since... he's fully out of the road. He's fully yeah, hasn't played since the since the break came back, which is hilarious because the two games before the All Star break, he was good. So. Yeah, um... it's just then now they're playing. Well, now they're playing Jalen Smith. Well, they're it's like Jalen Smith again. Yeah, exactly. It's like uh, you you can't figure out what, and that's the problem with playing these guys, um, like Jalen Smith specifically or like drummond where like they we know they have like 30 fantasy point upside in 13 minutes like yeah. they've shown that a bunch but sometimes they dmp so like i don't think bassy dmps i think bassy is just like in their rotation to stay um 15 to 20 minutes essentially every night depending on zach collins foul trouble right. probably uh and he has 28 and 30 fantasy points in two of his last three games so he's probably the safest of the of the darts um uh, but if Embiid does sit uh you know, I'm definitely going to explore some, uh, some Paul Reed exposure. Okay. Uh, I got a little bit lineup build started for us here. I threw Kawhi at power forward, Turner at center. I have deal on right at point guard. Um, thoughts. I, I had, I had a uh, Pirtle as our util. I don't know if you have any thoughts on, on that, uh, grouping there. Uh, any, I, uh, I like everything except Hurdle at Util. Okay. Can pull him up. Not 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 a huge deal. I don't I don't I don't dislike Hurdle at Util. Let's just mess around with it and then see if that's what we go back okay. to. Uh, I'm gonna go Westbrook. You can. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's what I had. I actually had Westbrook, Kawhi, Turner, Wright. That was okay. That was what I had. Um. All right, fifty four hundred dollars a player. Uh, shooting guards down here. I again. I like Ben Matherin at forty eight. Yeah, I'm cool with Matherin. Um, okay. He's been good. Yep. Fifty six hundred dollars. Small forward. Um, DDV. Yep. Forward and utility at fifty six hundred bucks a piece. Do we have any other value guys down here that we uh, peeked at? Nora maybe. I mean, I just that whole game is just so intriguing. The whole game, I don't, I don't care. The I only think... thing is, we're we're playing, we'd be playing two pacer bench guys, which I I, I don't dislike. <laughs> but I mean, it would get us Clay Thompson if we went Nora, so or Keldon if we wanted to go opposite there, but we're not sure what Vassell's going on, right? So we could do. I mean, you liked Draymond. Good Draymond at forward. I do like Draymond. Yeah, let's do Draymond. Five, five that K, game environment is... 5K utility play, maxi. Um, 
I mean, Maxi for sure. If there's no Embiid, we're obviously gonna rework that whole lineup. If yeah, exactly. I mean, there'd be we'd play Harris. You know, there'd be there'd be more guys um, that we would look at there. I don't know where I don't know where we'd go. Five K, you said? Yeah, it's it's not great. I can't play Draymond then. That's what I said. Uh, it's like you spend all the way down on on Noor, who's getting twenty nine minutes, I guess, or out of nowhere, right? And, uh, the minutes, I don't know if 29 is, like, expected, but if he plays well again, I mean, he might just be playing himself into a rotation spot. Sure. I mean, could, we could... Um... I mean, I'm not saying no to Nuora. I'm just, like, slightly hesitant to play two guys off the Patriots. Pacers bench, but I also like love Jalen Smith. So like, could go, I mean, I could go Buddy Healed. He's starting right. Like he's not going to take two shots again. You can go Mather sure. and Turner Healed. Yeah, and I don't like, hate that. Yeah, it gives us fifty seven hundred dollars. There's Looney, Gafford, but uh, OG Trent. I play any of those. I play any of that tier. I play any of that tier. Um, Gasell. I would probably wouldn't play him just now. Anymore. You so, what? I probably wouldn't play this. That's probably the one guy I wouldn't okay. play. Uh, I mean, we just don't know. We just don't know. OG or Trent or Looney? OG or Trent or Looney? Um, OG? What do you think? Uh, OG, maybe? Trent, maybe? Looney, maybe? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I wish I could find $100 to get the Zubax. That's my, that's my wish. Who do we have? Run through the lineup again. Westbrook. GDV. Westbrook, Mather, and DiVincenzo. Leonard, Turner, Wright, Heald. We could move off Turner. He's just been a baller, though. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to move off Turner. Yeah. My, honestly, if I moved off Turner, I want to go like Charles Bassey. Okay, I was going to say, do you just go like... down to Draymond if you move off Turner? Oh, that yeah, we could do that, too. That's also... $6,800 uh... utility is... You know, Zach Collins, who just gives us double center still, so. P Collins or Pirtle? Yeah, just back to Pirtle. I, I feel like I like Pirtle a little more than okay. Collins. I know the game environment's great for Indiana, but that, that foul trouble for Collins is yeah. speaking to me. I hear you. Um, just to double check, $6,900 util. I mean, oh, okay, well, we could do that. We could do Pirtle then Keldon over Draymond. Um, yeah, that's fine. Stick here for now. Can obviously, as lineup roster news comes out, we'll be able to adjust here. But final lineup uh, with no dollars remaining. Didn't go over this time, James. Uh, Russell Westbrook, <laughs> Ben Mather, and Dante DiVincenzo, Kawhi Leonard, uh, Jakob Pertl, Dylan Wright, Buddy Heald, Keldon Johnson. That's uh, our example lineup for this four game slate. I believe Ray Kuhn is going to be on the playbook for this one. We got the new core plays out. Hopefully, you all. Uh, liked the look and feel of the new core plays. Uh, take a, that's what we're going to be having moving forward. Let us know what you think. Put it in the Discord. Uh, like and subscribe to the podcast. Sign up for the All Pro Package if you're not already. Access to all of our DFS content, not just the NBA, uh, PGA, MMA, big MMA card, UFC 285 this week. Uh, our guy Magic Mike DFS, uh, Mike Iannone on there, just absolutely crushing all the MMA crushing. DFS content. Crushing. Uh 50% off the first six months. You can use promo code NBA50. It's $19.98 a month for the first six months. Takes you all the way to the start of the NFL season, which means you basically get the entire MLB season covered there for you and DFS uh, content being put out there. So sign up now. Join us over at Fantasy Alarm. James and I will be back uh, for Friday's slate. We'll be in the Discord answering your questions if you have any. Good luck. We'll catch you guys later.